So next, let's queer up drag culture. <laughs> Sasha, Jada, Priyanka, and Latrice stand against LGBTQ plus hate. Go ahead. And we're here. New trailer. I will. HBO's We're Here returns with a timely message for viewers. Season four introduces new co-hosts, including Sasha, Valor, Priyanka, Jada Essence Hall, and Latrice Royale from RuPaul's Drag Race. As the series ventures into Murfreesboro, Tulsa, and neighboring towns, it continues to use drag to spread love and positivity. However, amidst a challenging political climate for the LGBTQ plus community, the new season also addresses anti-LGBTQ plus legislation. The queens will confront the impact of these laws on the community, shedding light on the challenges faced by drag artists and trans individuals. The trailer shows Jada saying, quote, right now in the world, people who are different are being extremely targeted. And Latrice goes on to say, our survival is at risk. We have to stand up. Other queens talk about the importance of voice and community rights too. The initial three seasons of We're Here showcase Bob the Drag Queen, Shangela, and Eureka as the primary co-hosts. Season three secured an Emmy Award for Outstanding Costumes, acknowledging the talent of costume designers Diego Montoya, Marco Morante, and Joshua Domino Schwartz, alongside assistant costume designers Blake Danford, Sharon Malka, and Ricky Reynoso. Excitement abounds for the upcoming season featuring Jada, Latrice, Priyanka, and Sasha, as they promise to offer fresh perspectives to this acclaimed platform. Right now in the world, people who are different are being extremely targeted. <laughs> Our survival is at risk. We have to stand up. Because of the drag ban, we have a bigger community to empower. We're just getting started. Bringing in more voices is essential. The We're Here family just keeps growing. Hello, the drag queens are here. We are in Oklahoma and Tennessee. Because they try to cancel Pride, it's important that we make drag a spectacle. We're not hiding. We're not going anywhere. Honey, you can't kill drag. We got an interesting call. Concerned that you might get arrested if we do this. You don't wanna dance with me. Four seasons later, it's actually harder to be out and proud. People in the LGBTQ religion, they want us to accept It's definitely us. not a religion. It's, religion. it's still a religious cult. I had someone shoot a bullet through my house for being a gay drag queen running for office. If you are constantly by yourself, there's no way for you to come past this. It's important that we connect her with someone so that she can find community. I am transitioning with hormones. I dream of being able to roll out of bed, look in the mirror and think, you're beautiful, Jess. I just want people to see that there are people who are out in the world like this and they're not alone. We are people with rich stories. Drag queens are at the forefront of this fight. Violence is never the answer, but drag just might be. If people see you living your most authentic life, people feel like they could do the same thing. That's your dad? I was like, that's my dad! <laughs> to inspire one person to live out and proud is worth it. What I say we're, you say here. We're. Here. Yeah. We're. Yeah. And we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Latrice will always have that fan in her hand. Um, I, I got the shivers watching this commercial because it reminds me of how just recently my mom saw me perform in drag for the first time. And when you have people in your family unit who you didn't think were going to be that supportive or you were afraid to come out to, not only just like acknowledging you, but rooting you and supporting you, a lot of those stories are represented in the show We're Here. We're also very proud of our local hero, Latrice motherfucking Royale, being Ooh. on the program. Yeah. We were just talking about the fact that Latrice can fight. So, like, I yeah. know she can go into these towns and, like, really shake shit up and not be afraid because ain't nobody going to go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with her because this yeah. Latrice motherfucking Royale. Well, you know, here's the thing. We were saying that we've been watching it for the last three years, right? Mm -hmm. And for the last three years, so we're, let's, let's explain to Trini, who has never seen the show. So these drag queens go into these little towns that are little usually... America. They don't have an mm -hmm. LGBTQ plus center. They don't have Wilton. And they don't have any of that, right? And they go into in there and they help three or four people maybe struggling through their LGBTQ plus journey and they get them on stage to do drag. They're not, you know, they're not all drag queens, but 
it just helps them get more in tune with themselves and their LGBTQ plus community. And they get a lot of backlash. They get death threats. They get all kinds of stuff. You know, they have been fighting to come to these cities for three years where people have said, no, we don't want them to film in our city. Mm. You know, oh, very yeah. backwards places. Protest. You know, they were mm -hmm. protest, uh, you know yeah. a lot of places down south. They had to do three episodes in Florida because it was just so much going on in Florida mm. during that time. The town I grew you know? up in. Oh, I bet. Yeah. I bet. You know, um, and so that's what they do. Now, um, I'm, you know, I'm kind of torn because again, I love the show, but I love the original girls. I love the original queens, Eureka. Angela, Eureka, and Bob the Drag Queen. Like you can't get yeah. better than that. That is the cream of the crop. Now, Bob the Drag Queen is touring with Madonna, right? Mm -hmm. Eureka can't stay sober. And oh. Shangela has unfortunate sexual accusations against her, you know? So these three girls could not be working wow. right now. People were like, I can't believe they replaced them. It wasn't that they were replaced. It was that they were going through these things and they had to keep the show going. So who are they going to put I, in their place? I think they're trying to mix it up. They're trying to spread also, the love around to other drag queens. And I'm actually happy that not only that they're bringing back, uh, that bringing Latrice Royale, which we mm -hmm. love, and she's a South Florida girl, girl mm -hmm. but they're giving an opportunity also to people like Priyanka. Mm -hmm. Priyanka not only is a, of Indian background, she's Canadian. It's, she's not an American. So now they're trying to bring other famous and she won Canada drag Canada, race yeah. so she is a, a very well-known queen very good queen and now she's gonna be exposed to American audiences and that's important Completely. I mean we need and to, Jada too and you Jada know? and Sasha Ballor, which mm -hmm. is the one that I mean Sasha is a very brainy queen she's very deep and I don't know the level of comedy like Shangela or Bob the drag queen or Eureka but Sasha Ballor is I met her uh, um, on a cruise, on a gay cruise, and she's Why fantastic. Why do you say it like that? Like it's against the law. <laughs> the gay cruise. No, I met, I met, I met. She was performing on the Atlantis gay cruise, and she's fantastic. She's really good. Uh, let's see how she does when he's dealing with this, because yeah. they deal with uh, deep issues of homophobia and racism and many different things. Mm -hmm. They're not, not only making uh, drag queens of gay people, but also uh, straight people, parents of, of gay children. Mm -hmm. Right? They deal with different things in this little tiny. Uh, South America and the South and Arizona. I remember once uh, the, uh, Texas too. So from what I've seen, like on a lot of these makeover shows, that when you put somebody in drag, a straight person in drag, like they have so much fun with it. Mm -hmm. Everybody just relaxes and they're yep. like, you know what? It's not that bad, uh, you know. Yeah. So yeah. I am calling now for a queer news tonight that we do an all drag show. All of us uh. dudes that are in there, and even <laughs> Faye will look even what do you more. Think this is. I mean, I'm this, always this, in drag. This is, this is, this is, <laughs> we'll look even more like a man. So I think a drag king. we should do this. <laughs> A drag king. You should do it. Producer drag. production, that's what we're doing next. So that's Trini who's wearing my lip color tonight. <laughs> Bitch stole my look. Right. Stole my Looks look. better on me. Ooh. Good luck to we're here. You have big shoes to fill. You have a big padding to fill, all mm -hmm. right? Um, and, you know, I could talk all that crap uh, about the other girls. I'm in it for Latrice. I think she's going to be carrying a lot of the load, just my own personal opinion. And am I not going to watch? I'm going to be watching the whole entire mm -hmm. thing, and you should be too.